Hi guys. Wow. It really has been a while since I posted a video last. But today I'm starting a new project that I am bringing you along for. And it is actually a project that is going to help me be more present. And the tool I'm using is the camera. You see, I came across this book called The Camera Cure a few weeks ago. And the author of the book, he is a doctor and he states that it is possible to get a higher quality of life and getting better at being present by using your camera. And he has made several concrete tasks uh, in order to uh, solve that and to get better at being present. And today I'm going to start off with the first task. However, first I'm going to take my dog for a walk. Come here, Zimba. Yeah. Sel and I had a really nice walk through the forest and I've had a nice shower. So now it's time to head out to do the first task in the camera cure. Now, you might be wondering why Zelda isn't coming along for this, and there's a few reasons for it. First of all, I'm going to use my bike to get to a location, and Zelda isn't a very good biker. <laughs> Second, uh, Zelda is a senior citizen, and she needs time to rest, so right now is a nice possibility for her to get some rest and some time alone in the house. And thirdly, I think that when I'm supposed to practice presence and supposed to focus, uh, Zelda wouldn't be helping on that. Not because she's such a nuisance or anything, but because I'm uh, going to be worried about what she's doing instead of being worried about how I am going to practice my presence. So, okay, let's head out and find a location. I don't know if you really can hear me right now, but I am on my way to find a location and it really, uh, I haven't planned where I'm going to shoot so I'm just going to find the location and go there to shoot some images because that's part of the task from the camera cure Here we are folks, this is the location that I have chosen for this first task of the camera cure. Uh, I'm going to set up now. Uh, I have only filmed with the GoPro Hero 8 this far today, but now I'm going to set up, make sure you get a bit better sound, uh, get my camera ready and I'm going to walk you through what the first task of the camera cure really is. that I have decided that is going to be the location of my first task in the camera cure and the first task is all about practicing being present you see there's so many moments in life that just seem to pass us by because we are occupied with thinking about the past or worrying about the future and the author of the camera cure says that 
he believes that if we want a higher quality of life, we have to learn to be more present. So the first task is to find a place where you want to be. This place, my location for the day. I am supposed to be here, shoot photos for 15 minutes. My scope is to shoot 10 to 15 photos within that time. I'm not going to be searching for the photo. The task is to let, just let the images come to me. And I think this is going to be a huge challenge for me. But I'm looking forward to trying it out because it's something that I have tried out sometimes before. Uh, in a workshop in uh, last, last summer I went to Vena Bufiel uh, for a photography workshop and we did some uh, tasks that were kind of similar to this one but not that had such a limited time so I'm going to set the timer on my phone for 15 minutes I'm going to shoot for 15 minutes uh, and I'll just hook up the GoPro so you will see a uh, time-lapse of that uh, shooting and then once I'm done I'm going to head back home I'm going to edit the images and I'm going to show you the results of today's shoot so I hope this is going to be a nice task for myself. I hope I'm going to get something uh, out of it. I hope that I am able to be uh, present. I find it's a, a bigger challenge uh, being present in a um, public area like this than it would have been just going to the forest and that's why I chose this location. So okay, let's just get started. I've just finished shooting. I spent my 15 minutes with the camera. I think I got about 10 to 15 images. Some of them are total crap. Uh, and some of them I think are decent. One of the things I found most um, uh, challenging for me during this task was to actually be present and not be uh, disturbed by all the people that are passing by, to not be kind of embarrassed or I don't know I don't like it when people are looking too much uh, at me <laughs> so when you are uh, out and about and you have uh, set up your GoPro for time-lapse and you have the big DSLR and you're shooting images in like a small area so you're spending a lot of time there then people will start looking at you uh, in addition to that, <laughs> when you put uh, yourself in front of a camera speaking to it in English, when you normally speak Norwegian, people are looking even more. Um, and I let that disturb me and I think that's why uh, I didn't I didn't get off to a good start with the whole uh, task. Uh, it took quite some time before I forgot where I was, forgot my surroundings and just felt the presence and the interesting thing was that once I felt the presence and felt that I'm really just here in this moment right now that's when uh, I started to actually see the images that I think that I'm going to be most satisfied with. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to bike back home. I'm going to import images and the task says that I'm going to uh, organize the images so that I put f my five favorite images into one folder and my five uh, second favorites into another folder and then the rest into the third folder. And I'm going to uh, go through and analyze what it is that I like about the images, but I'm also going to go through and analyze what it is that I felt that this task uh, does for me. Is it relevant for me? Is this task something that I need to do uh, more often several times in order to get better at being present. So that's something I'm going to uh, consider and think a bit about when I'm biking back home uh, and I'll see you back at the computer. I'm back home, I've loaded the images into my computer, I've looked through them, I've eaten an amazing lasagna and uh, I have sat down with the camera cure book to see a bit um, 
further and look into what I was actually going to do today and what the task actually was. So just to remind you, uh, I was to go to a location where I wanted to be. I was supposed to just be there, be present and within 15 minutes shoot 10 to 15 images. The images weren't supposed to be planned. I wasn't going to go searching for them. I was just going to let the images come to me by being present. Uh, and I found that quite uh, challenging. But I did, however, get home with a few images that I really liked. Now, my favorite images today, uh, the five, the set of five, I'm going to uh, put up on the screen for you right now. And I'm going to tell you a bit about why uh, those are my five images. I think that the best images I got today I got when I actually were present and not chasing after an image. After a while I started looking at these trees that were in the location that I had chosen. And they had um, a few um, kind of holes in them or uh, openings where I could shoot through and uh, play with uh, the light and the darkness and I was kind of feeling like I was looking through a keyhole or something like that uh, and I think that uh, made for quite a few interesting images and as you can see a lot of the images that are uh, among the five favorite images of mine today actually uh, are in a series uh, that have the same kind of looking through the keyhole uh, theme. I also really enjoyed this one image uh, that because I felt like I was observing uh, the location, I was being present and I was uh, really uh, kind of connecting with the location but with a camera I feel like an observer and uh, one of my favorite images was uh, an image that uh, I actually felt like I was being observed, so someone was observing the observer, observer kind of. So I really liked that one as well. And that was a typical image that just came to me. Um, I couldn't possibly plan for it. The next image, the last image that I really uh, think came out kind of okay was uh, an image that was a bit more planned. Uh, the image came uh, to me, so I didn't go searching for it, but I was playing with the uh, with the observer role and kind of through the keyhole, the same theme that the other images are uh, I've taken uh, were produced around, but I was trying to have a wider view. And I saw that uh, there was this... Uh, there was this uh, tree that had two branches going out, so I wanted to frame my composition with that. And I had two other trees kind of far away that were parallel, and I really liked them. And I was thinking, if I'm lucky enough, I will get a couple of people going like right in the middle between those. So you have like the two trees framing everything, and then you have another frame with the two uh, parallel trees and they are framing the couple in the middle. So I really like that composition as well and even though it was maybe a bit more like a search for an image then I also felt like it was an image that I didn't go out searching for. It just came to me and I was lucky enough that a couple actually passed right between the two trees. So yeah. So I hope you like the images <laughs> and I don't think there's any bangers, any keepers among these images and I don't think it's uh, fair to expect that from a 15 minute shoot uh, in a location where I haven't planned the images or anything. But I do think that the task, uh, practicing presence, has been really uh, a 
rewarding in a way because I actually from I started until I finished I felt like at some point it turned and I started being present, I started being in the moment instead of uh, just thinking about what could have been or what will be um, I was actually just being present and that's when I started to see the images that I found more interesting so I think that's something I'm going to uh, bring along uh, with me into the next few shoots I'm going to uh, continue this camera cure journey if you have liked this video and you want to see more of the tasks from the camera cure please leave a comment down below so hope you enjoyed the video leave a like a comment down below and please consider subscribing it would really make me happy did you think i was leaving you so fast i can't go without saying this remember there's always more to explore locally and this summer a lot of us is going to be staying at home for our vacation so exploring locally is more important than ever and maybe just maybe you can practice being present as well